Hello and welcome to my second video on YouTube. I'm making progress, eh? I was thinking about the topics that it's better to talk about and I think everybody wants to know about Alpine. If you are working in SRE uh, or as a DevOps engineer also, you're going to hear a lot about Alpine, like your manager says that, yeah, let's have the machine on Alpine or maybe they're asking you to make an Alpine Docker image for a software, probably for a Python software or even Node or every other packages. Alpine is like everywhere these days. So especially if you want to like work with uh, Kubernetes. So let's get into it. So first of all, the title, why every season SRE engineer uses Alpine Linux? Because it's awesome. That's the short answer. And the long answer, we are going to see why. Uh, this is the topics that we are going to talk, cover. So what is Alpine Linux? And uh, we are going to actually uh, have a small demo in there. Then how we are, going to we are going to see how the Alpine Linux is going to compare to others like Ubuntu or SUSE. Or SUSE? I'm not sure. Uh, how fast Alpine Linux is, we are going to install Git and Python and different machines with Ubuntu and Alpine. And we are going to see why we use Alpine and Kubernetes. We are going to have a sample demo with Python and Node packages. So there is a bonus in this video and that is run commands with me in Docker and you refresh your knowledge of Docker. You see also a PS note in here. So the thing that you're seeing here, like this uh, command prompt, like editor, the name is Veeam. So if you are going to work as a DevOps engineer or SR engineer, for sure you should know basics of Veeam. So for example, in here, if you wanna save what we have got in here, you do first escape. First you click on the window, then you press uh, escape. It goes to the command mode of the Veeam and then this one and X and yes, that's it. Okay. so. Uh, let's start it. What is, um, what is Alpine Linux? Alp Alpine Linux is very much boiled down version of Linux and it's almost five megabytes or something like that. It's built on top of BusyBox that by itself is a uh, pretty small Linux, about two megabytes, added some bunch of things in there plus it has its own package manager. So that's a big difference between Alpine and BusyBox and wh that's why it's essentially very successful. It has its own package manager. And let's, let's see how it compares to BusyBox. So it's the practice time. Docker run dash TI and then BusyBox SH says it cannot find it locally it's going to download it and that's it now we are in busy box so ls yes we are there now we are going to exit and now we are going to see docker images what images we have got you, you see that we have got busy box in here and the size is 1.2 megabytes now go on, let's go and see how it's compared to Alpine. And yep, that's pretty much it. Now let's exit in here and let's see. Okay. This is Alpine with five megabytes. To wrap up, Alpine is built on top of BusyBox, added the package manager, some other stuff to make it workable for everyone. So how it compares to other Linuxes, you can see we have here BusyBox, we have Alpine. Let's go and get the Ubuntu. So in Ubuntu, we have Bash. That's much better to work with. That's also another terminal compared to SH. And We did here two exits because we wanted to exit from bash terminal and then from the sh terminal. 
and now let's see how they are comparing together yes currently we have Ubuntu in here 72 megabytes I remember that Ubuntu was about 140 megabytes probably they have worked on it okay uh, let's compare Alpine installing the packages with Ubuntu and see how fast they are again running Ubuntu in here yes and now let's open a new window in here and then let's docker run dash ti alpine sh did i forget anything yes rm Should I do that? Yes, it's here. Okay. Here I made a mistake. I'm going to re record it. And that is running this one with RM. Okay, now we are inside Ubuntu. Now let's run Alpine in here. Now we are inside Alpine. Let's run the command in here. Uh, Ubuntu uses package management named apt. So apt get update and and app dash git install git and python 3 that's just a sample uh, here apk is used in the alpine apk double dash update double dash no cache usually in uh, sorry for kubernetes we use no cache we don't want to have the cache in there anyway and then we have python 3 and we want to have git oh i forgot the add apk add okay uh, let's give ubuntu a bit of head start oh we have forgot the dash y install dash y git python so the things that you saw in there, that's because we are not using bash. If we were using bash, we were not seeing that one. So we are installing here Git and Python version three and giving it a head start here also running this one. Okay. And we are done in here. Let's see in here. Okay, let's, let's wait. Okay, listing the packages, yeah, trying to download and installing them. Okay, a lot of packages in there, yeah. Okay, still running, still running, running. Yeah, it's still running. Yep, maybe I can have some coffee. Still running. Should I cook the dinner now? Yeah. Still running. Yeah, done. So you may say, okay, it's okay. I can wait really like this much is completely okay. It's not a big deal. Yeah, that's true. It's not a big deal. But imagine that you have this image working on every single step of your pipeline. What would happen? And on each one of those steps, you want to install some of these like applications like Git or a, like Python. Those are essential ones. So what will happen? Or every time you are building your images, that's the time get uh, gotten from your infrastructure. And yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to lengthen your pipeline, your manager, developers, almost everybody, sometimes CEO becomes upset. No worries. So we learned it. Why we should use APK and Alpine because it's much faster, especially if you want to have it in places that they are running many times. Okay, going to the next one. Let's exit from here and for sure exit from here. Now, let's go to next one and that is seeing how the packages are compared having the same package of programs so for example python and docker they have different releases so let's see here this is how you do that docker search python 
okay these are the packages available for python when you see here official okay it means that you can use it django for now we are not really interested in using it so let's go for pure python and see how it compares so docker pool that's when you don't want to run it you just have you want to have the image on your system docker pool python and latest okay waiting waiting for it again that's a huge image you don't want to wait that much you don't want your kubernetes to wait that much to download the images or probably your pipeline running waiting that much trying the images still i'm talking with you and that one downloading downloading and downloading hmm yeah still trying trying okay maybe another sip from my coffee that was dark coffee okay oh uh, it says download complete okay we can wait pull complete many layers many layers yeah still waiting okay maybe you can have your sip of your coffee or tea probably okay and still waiting still waiting oh come on okay maybe we can have a bit of head start in here and have a docker pool python alpine okay let's enjoy our time yep we'll complete yep yep done gosh still it this one is like downloading it okay and yes we are happy okay let's see how it docker images let's see how they compare by the size so we have two pythons one is here one is here this is the one using the latest tag in here you can see it's a debian version debian is one of the distros of linux uh, 885 megabytes almost one gigabyte made us wait a lot and this one is 44 megabytes okay which one you want your program to run on in production? There are reasons that you want it to use Alpine. First of all, it's pretty tiny. So it means that you can pre pretty much you can load everything on the RAM and everything run running off the RAM. So very good start regarding performance. The second one is that for sure that 885 megabytes of code and binaries means that there are a lot of security issues in there so a lot a big surface is, is in there but with alpine just having the bare essentials okay there is probably not a lot of loopholes to get in security issues not that much and alpine community they are very good in uh, solving the security issues so the last demonstration is with node Probably everybody is using Node for front end and Python for back end. If your company is not using that one, call me. I will tell them how Python is awesome. Okay, let's bring in the Node. Node in here and Node in here. Yep. What? okay it already exists it seems let's see here already exists now let's compare them to the images we have node in here we have node in here this is the node on alpine okay it's even bigger than python oh sorry node on debian debian linux and this one is node on alpine and it's 100 megabytes okay still a big difference one tenth of the size so yep that's the reason we in SRE and DevOps engineers, we love Alpine. It's small, pretty fast and secure. And you know it very, very well now. My suggestion is that like, if you haven't ran the commands with me, please do that. See that on your machine. 
you learn how to work with Docker and you learn a bit of Beam probably. And yep, that's it. So thank you. Don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. Yes, that's the way to say it. Bye.